Hello, YouTube, uh, Internet, Steam, Groupies.com, the entire world, the entire multiverse. This is Ben with another Mysterious Space update. I realize I have not made an update in a little while. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Real life just gets busy sometimes. Um, but I have been working on the game, and I've actually been working on, like, non-programming aspects. Let me just tell you. So I've been in contact with a couple uh, chip musicians about making music for Mysterious Space. Um, the Groupies Bundle, is that still going? I, whoops, oh, excuse me. Um, let me see, groupies.com. I don't know that it's still going, the Space Bundle. No, I think it's finally, no, here it is, 14 hours left. I don't know how long that will be. Um, so by the, by the time you watch this video, maybe like 12, 12 hours, I mean, probably more, but you know, whatever. Um, so this, the Space Bundle is not done. I have not yet received any money uh, for the Space Bundle, but it, it's, it's fine. I'm willing to, you know, spend the money in advance uh, and get some music done for Mysterious Space. And in fact, I already have some music ready. Should I play it? You know, everything is not, like, super final. Um, they, we've been going back and forth. They recently sent me the music. I have not sent them money. They've been too nice about it. I would be a little more paranoid and want the money first, but whatever. They've been super nice, so that's awesome. Um, so, But maybe I, w I won't play it for you just yet, but I will definitely let you guys know when the music is available. Um, the person making... So there is a couple people. Uh, you know, again, let's just wait till it's final, and I'll make a separate announcement. So sorry, this was all a horrible tease. I, I apologize. I have been... Um, but anyway, there will be music in the, in the next release. I don't know if there will be all of the music. Like, we might not have a title you know, the, the, the music for right here, what you're looking at now, this menu. We might not have music for that, but we'll have music for some of the world types. M maybe not all the world types. Like, right, it's going to be a little incomplete. I don't know if, you know, should I even include any if I can't have all? I don't know. You know, if you, if you, you watching, if you have an opinion about that, let me know. You know, do I wait until I have all the music and then do it all at once, or do we release with weird partial music? I guess a little music is better than no music, right? I don't know. Anyway, I do have some other things I can show off. Ooh, let me turn down the volume. That's a little loud for me. Um, it's pro it's quieter for you because the speakers are further from the microphone than my mouth. Whoa, I turn I can't operate anything. I'm a little tired. All right, I'm a little tired because I staying up late. Oh, okay. So this was the um, tutorial. You know, might as well show off. The tutorial was broken at one point, so. That's good that's not broken anymore. Also, it now tells you to hold down fire because people don't do that. I've made various changes, numerous changes, um, aimed at people who have not played the game before. I want the game to be comprehensible. It's a constant struggle of making sure that when people pick up this game, they will be able to play it and they will be able to understand and they will not feel like they they were stupid and missing something obvious. Um, because and, and, you know, the player's going to feel that way even even if it's my fault. So... Let's take a look at some of that, like, right now. First of all, this is something I've mentioned before. Ooh, I just got shot. The um, the edges of, of this background terrain that I'm wiggling furiously back and forth on, uh, you may remember that those used to be hard squares, and hard squares do not look go-throughable? I don't know what the word is. I have seen numerous people and, and heard one friend who I didn't get to watch him play, but he told me about this. They just wander around the surface like this going, how do I get down there? Or, or not realizing that they can. They probably won't even ask that question. They're just like, hmm, this sure is a hilly, bumpy, colorful terrain. I guess that's all there is to it. No, you go down, but people don't realize that. So I've done a couple things. The first, which I had been talking about for a while, is making the backgrounds have a jaggy edge. And we can see that the background now has a delightful jaggy edge. The other thing was improving, and this was kind of an accident, I had noticed, let me pause here, that the mini-map down here, which I'm mousing over, for some reason I move the mouse over the window, it vanishes, so I can't actually see the cursor, but I, I do my best. I, uh, what is that? It's like, it's not pro, you know, uh, proprioception, I think it's the name of the sense of knowing where your body is. Even if you have your eyes closed, you know where your hand is in space. It's like that here. I can't see the mouse cursor, but I can guess that I'm going around this this square. How well did I do? I don't know. I can't see. Anyway, so um, the map didn't used to have this this dark black uh, background, and 
I had I, I initially didn't have one intentionally because I didn't want the map to be taking up a bunch of, of space of what you're seeing. And I've, I have already done weird things where at the very bottom of the level, I ensure that there are two levels of solid blocks so that even when you go all the way down, the map will not be covering up much more than just a couple levels of blocks. You, you, you know what I'm saying? So at the bottom of the screen will be two whole, whole solid blocks. And so that way the map will only be covering block. I, I was really concerned about this map taking up space of what you can see. And so I didn't have the black background. I just had it draw the map directly on, you know, without that black background. And that made it really hard to see the mini-map. So much so, I think, that again, I, I would ask people, like, hey, have you noticed the mini-map? And be like, what? A mini-map? And maybe, maybe you, watching, if you've played this before, are thinking the same thing. You played it once and was like, oh, I never noticed them. That was my fault. I didn't make it visible enough. So I experimented. I just like put this black semi-transparent background because I was like, well, you can still see through it. Right, duh, like this is a it's a it's a UI convention that we've had for a very long time. Why I didn't think about it in the first place, I don't know. Now we have it. And after having done this, I realized that it has the added benefit of instantly showing you, you know, like suppose you're going along the surface like this and you don't know that you can go down you will see on the map that you're very high up on the map, right? Like there's a bunch of stuff below you. Surely you can get there. <gasps> I can go through this terrain. So, that, you know, I'm hoping that it's just another thing that conveys to players, you can go down. You should go. There's stuff. You <laughs> Do it. Um, so while I've been, like, talking ridiculously, I don't know if we have, uh, if I've already missed showing you something else I meant to show. And I reset the tutorial settings because that is important. Let's see if we can find a pickup. So something else I've noticed new players do is they don't realize that the little white crates, they're supposed to be crates, the enemies drop are, are things you can pick up. Uh, and I think I mentioned this in a previous video. I was going to check out some other games and see how they, um, you know, what, what do their pickups look like? Do they look more obviously pick upable? You know, is, is, it, is it immediately clear? So... I looked at other games, and let, let me go over here and pause. Oh, I didn't even know that it would uh, still blink while I was paused. That's funny. Um, I looked at another game. I looked at, like, old Super Nintendo games. Maybe I should look at something more modern. Uh, but I noticed that their pickups, I don't think they necessarily looked immediately pickupable either. Like, they were shiny and would spin in a pseudo-3D way. I mean, you know, it was sprites, but... So did everything on the screen. So I wasn't really sure that th those pickups necessarily... I mean, you could imagine that it was just a bomb the same way that people thought, oh, I could probably collide with that. It looks like a thing. Everything else so far either kills me or prevents my movement. You know, why would that be any different? And I feel like you could think the same thing in those games too. So I decided, screw it, we're just going to make it tell you. Can you, you cannot get more clear than blinking get text. So that's what it does. And once you have picked up one of them they will never again blink get, 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 which is why I went to the settings and reset the tutorial settings, because that's one of the things now uh, that, that's stored there is, have you picked up a goodie ever before in your life? And that, get, that gets stored there. So that's one thing. The other thing is I did the same thing for fuel. You know, I was thinking about having the, the tutorial lady be like, remember to look for fuel. This is what it looks like. But who's going to remember that? You know, it's much better if you can just see it and know. Uh, the less text you have to read, the better. So, perfect timing. Here's some fuel. 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 What is it? It's fuel. What do you, you pick it up? Pick it up. <laughs> Look for fuel. It's, it's really funny. Like, it is simultaneously frustrating to see people who have not played the game before missing these things, but at the same time, I know it's my fault. I have not properly explained these things to the players. I need to properly explain them. Um, so that's, you know, and I feel kind of bad. I mean, if, you, if, you, if you're watching this, it's quite possible that you have already played the game and you already know these things and these improvements do not apply to you. Why is that little guy stuck in that hole and not moving? I do not know. Um, there he goes. He decided now to move. <laughs> um, you look confused, sir. Um, Yes, so, you know, I apologize if these are not super exciting uh, improvements for you. Uh, it is important that that new people be able to pick up. I feel like this is important. That's why I'm spending so much time on it. Um, and I will get to other things soon. So, like music. Music is going to be great for everyone. Uh, that is coming along, as I have mentioned. And I will no doubt make a noisier announcement about and, and more explaining announcement. Um... 
and I don't think that there's, I think that's it. I don't think there's much else to say. Um, I'm working on mini bosses. That's another thing. I'm also working on a new type of level that you will play um, rather than a planet. Like, you know, all of these so far are planets. You go on a planet. She's reminding us of lava because of tutorial settings. Yeah, you go on a planet, you get all the fuel, you leave the planet, I'm going to make an entirely different type of thing that you could encounter. It will be much less common than planets, but it will be a more traditional left to right. You scroll at a fixed pace, you're forced to continue going to the right, um, and things come flying at you. Big asteroids and, and little asteroids, and you blow them apart, but the asteroids fall into the smaller ones as you do because of the game Asteroids all those years ago. I guess that has set the, the trend. Um... Is that, or is that just logic and science? I don't know. Uh, I guess it is. Anyway, so things will come flying at you. You don't need to get any fuel. You're just being propelled forward. And if we need to make up an excuse like, oh, here's a shortcut. Instead of getting fuel, slingshot yourself around a star or a black hole or a planet or whatever and get the momentum that way. We can make something up. Doesn't matter. The point is a different kind of challenge. Uh, I would like to have a variety of challenges. And hopefully, uh, I can't show you now because I have to finish this level. Here's a quick way to do that. Let's just start a new game. Oh, because I reset the tutorial again. I was like, why? What's going on? Have I broken something? And I could have told her, no, I don't want to do the tutorial, but I was clicking too fast. All right, so hopefully from here, you would choose your challenges, right? I don't have as many split up paths. It's kind of hard to make as many decisions as you as you might like to make. Um, but I'm really hoping that if they're, you know, if, if you're just like, oh man, I hate those those levels where I go really quick, or maybe you're like, yes, I have the perfect ship, these are levels I want, I want to just go like go real fast and not have to worry about finding fuel, that'll be much safer for me because of my particular ship choice and the equipment I've done, whatever. Um, I want you to have that choice of choosing what kind of challenges you go for, and and that is the point of trying to make these planets distinct as well. Things like the lava worlds. Um, you know, maybe you don't mind. Maybe you have an upgrade that lets you move faster through through liquids. Have I put that in the game yet, or have I only intended to? Anyway, it'll get added eventually if it's not already in the game. Uh, but you know, if you you can customize your ship in little ways to make certain challenges easier. Uh, I think the mining worlds are kind of a better example of that because we have some weapons that shoot bullets straight up and down, and that's perfect when you have to go through a vertical tunnel. So. I'm waving my arms around to indicate vertical tunnels, and you can't see that, obviously, sorry. Uh, but anyway, so I would really like to add as much of that sort of thing as possible. I feel like it's a little difficult with the formula I have now. Um, at some point, I should sit down and think, how can I, you know, how can I really hit, hit that home, um, whatever phrase you want, to where you can make those sorts of choices, and it is like, yes, I'm customizing my ship to be good at this, and those are the sorts of challenges I want to excel at, or maybe I want to be a little more well-rounded and have a mild, you know, mediumish challenge, but at least it's medium for everything, not super hard for the bad situations I'm not prepared for. I would like you to be able to make those sorts of choices, and I don't think Mysterious Space is quite there yet, uh, but it is something I'll be looking to, to do, to give to Mysterious Space. And, and all you guys playing it. So anyway, sorry, I I feel I have rambled quite enough. Um, also, sorry that it took me so long to, to get this update. Again, life has just been busy, and I'm tired as we speak. <laughs> and should go to bed very soon, actually. Um, but but uh, when will the next update come out? When will the next release come out? These are all very good questions that I can imagine you asking me. I don't know, and I don't know. Uh, this weekend is going to be busy. I have a friend visiting from out of town, out of state, uh, in fact. So... I will not necessarily be working on Mysterious Space a bunch during that time. I predict very little, in fact. Uh, but I will let you know as I know more. When I know more, you will know more. That I can promise. Um, so, you know, I'll continue posting on YouTube. I will continue posting on Steam. I have made a Twitter for the fun of it. It's mostly just where I post random ideas that I have for Mysterious Space. The Twitter is called Mysterious Idea, if, if you want to look it up. I, there's not much there, honestly, um, but my intent is whenever I have a random idea to let it serve kind of as a notebook for myself, as this is maybe a funny thing you should implement, um, and, and, and then and that's something that you guys could see as well and, and maybe give feedback on. That would be that would be cool. Um, and I also have uh, mysteriousspace.com. It has a blog. I'm not using it a whole lot, and I mostly duplicate anything I post there to Steam because that is the main contact point. Um, mostly I've made these things just so I have them in the future if I need them. You know, I want MysteriousSpace.com because maybe that will be a place that I want to post stuff, so I made sure to buy the domain while it's available. Um, and same with, with the Twitter thing. Mysterious Space was not available, but Mysterious Idea, that's fine. Um, I used to have a Twitter like that for a previous game 
or you know, I'd be out at lunch with a friend and we'd be talking about Mysterious Space, or in this case, uh, it was my old game Side Pets, and I would just quickly, you know, tweet to myself basically whatever we were talking about, so that so I would remember the idea when I got back home. Um, so that is what I will probably use this for as well for Mysterious Space. Um, anyway. Sorry again, again, I just keep rambling, but thank you for watching, and thank you for playing, and thank you for being interested, and thank you for putting up with my, uh, my delays, thank you for being patient, um, and goodbye.